Hey guys, and welcome back to Dollywood. It is almost Christmas time. It is December 14th, and we are here today at Dollywood. Uh, we're going to be showing you around the park. We're also going to be eating at Aunt Granny's. You can see here right behind us. This is our first time eating here this season. And uh, we're going to give you a sort of an in-depth review of all of the food that you can get here at Aunt Granny's. We're also going to take you around the park and show you some other things. Jen said that she is looking forward to eating at Aunt Granny's. Yeah. We both are. Yeah. <laughs> we both are. Uh, I was up here a couple weeks ago and walked into the restaurant and the uh, place smelled absolutely amazing. So I went back and told her about it and now we've been looking forward to it for a couple weeks now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, it's a place that we've talked about kind of reviewing for a while. So yes. I'm excited that we finally get to do that. Yep. We're finally going to get to do it today. Like I said, we're going to show you some other things. We're going to walk around the park, see what else we can find, see if there's any new Christmas merch out. Uh, probably not much, but it might be a little bit that they've snuck out here towards the end of the season. And uh, we'll see what else we can find. You guys ready? Let's go. We spotted some merch we haven't covered yet. I really like these uh, Dollywood sort of plaid thermos type things they've got here. And I also saw right over here, they have some of these Squishmallows that are uh, Christmas ones. They got Santa, some reindeer. We're actually gonna be going into the Squishmallow store today to pick up a couple things, so a couple presents. So we're gonna take you guys with us. first and only people in the restaurant at the moment other than the employees sure does smell good in here this is the menu for Aunt Granny's it starts at $24.99 per person $10.99 for kids uh, with the main dishes you get to choose three of the meats they've got southern fried chicken herb roasted turkey breast, beef pot roast, carved ham, and southern catfish. And then you choose four of the side dishes. You can see all those there. I'm not gonna list all those out, but they have several of them. And then for the dessert, you get to choose one dessert. And this is a family style dining where you pick all these things and they bring it to the table family style. So here is the cheddar biscuit. There you go. Oh, that's like a cheddar bay biscuit. Yeah, I mean, that is good. There's one person back there, that's all they do all day. Get carpal tunnel. So they have a person here that their job is to make these biscuits. Yeah. And they're fantastic. Yeah, I couldn't imagine just doing one thing. All so good. Those biscuits might be all you need. They're really good. So good. So here are some of those Cheddar Bay biscuits we were talking about. And we'll walk right over here. And you've got some turkey gravy and turkey. And there's some catfish right back there. And then around the corner, you've got ham, fried chicken and pot roast, there's some uh, pot roast stew there. Let's walk right over here. There is some cornbread, green beans, mac and cheese, Brussels sprouts, 
some more gravy. There is some uh, mashed potatoes right back there. Some stuffing. This is uh, some sort of cobbler that looks absolutely amazing. They haven't got most of the desserts out yet. So this is the way that everything is served at your table. You got turkey, dressing, green beans, mac and cheese, sweet potatoes. There's the turkey, the beef stew. We haven't got our chicken yet. They'll be bringing that in just a second. We'll start with some uh, dressing. Pretty good dressing. It's actually really good dressing. It's a good, just southern cornbread dressing. Very good. All right, let's try some uh, some pot roast. This is what the wife picked. That's good too. Really tender. The meat is very, very tender. It's got good flavor to it. Alright. Sweet potatoes. Jen doesn't really care for sweet potatoes as much as I do, but she pretty much picked two sides and then I picked two sides. Those are good as well. Cooked real well. Have a slight, just a slight crunch to them. Not really a crunch. They're just. Uh, it's, they have a glaze on them. Yeah, they're glazy, so they have like a little tender. They're, they're real tender. But they're cooked. Yeah, they're completely cooked. But they're good. Is everything okay so far? We're missing our fried chicken. Oh yeah, you are missing. <laughs> They forgot our chicken. They're bringing it now. So mac and cheese. This is a uh, like a white cheddar mac and cheese. Also very very good. Very creamy. Also cooked really well. Good flavor to it. Usually I don't, usually I don't and if you need a particular piece, and I should already ask, I will get it. I think we're good. Okay. Thank that's you so that's much. That's, that's for him. Oh, okay. I'll take you'll love it. That is Thank you. You're welcome. Turkey. It's good. Mm -hmm. Turkey's sort of a weird thing. I like turkey, but. Turkey has sort of a, just an odd flavor to me. It always has. It's kind of a bland flavor, but this is really good. This turkey does not have a bland flavor. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. Jen does not think that turkey is bland. I do. But Turkey's I, good. I eat far more turkey than you do. We got our fried chicken. That's good fried chicken. That's really good fried chicken. It's way better than I expected it to be. So of the three meats that we got, and of course they have different options, of the three meats, the fried chicken is by far my favorite one. The beef, uh, the beef stew there, the roast beef was good. The turkey was okay, but the chicken, the chicken is the winner for me. And this is all you can eat, by the way. I don't know if we said that earlier, but so they do bring it in these bowls. 
to your table. So it's still like a buffet. It's just, uh, it's served family style, but it's all you can eat. So that $24.99 price range, um, it's expensive to eat here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's not the cheapest place to eat in Dollywood, but you get what you pay for here. Really, really good. Okay, so I tried everything that we had except for the fried chicken because I don't do chicken with bones in it. And I didn't do the sweet potatoes because I just don't care for them. It's not my thing. I like what like, real potatoes. The good salty kind. Um, but, and John didn't mention the green beans because he didn't have them on his plate, but the green beans are the kind that are made with bacon and onions and all of that goodness in them. So they're like real home cooked green beans, not, not just like green beans out of the kitchen, but good. They're really good. Everything is good. Um, I really like the pot roast and I can't eat a lot of beef. That's a long story, another story for another day. But I, I can't eat a lot of it, but it's really, really good. Everything is really, really good. I am pleasantly surprised at how good everything is. So do you like the, you like the uh, pot roast more than the turkey? Yes, I mean, yeah. the turkey is good. It's just, you know, it's turkey. If I eat a lot of turkey and a lot of chicken, so I like to get something I don't eat all the time. And the pot roast is good really good. So, everything is good. So normally here uh, at Aunt Granny's during the Christmas season, they have a uh, cinnamon bread pudding. They do not have it today. So uh, for dessert, I got the uh, Dutch apple pie and Jen got the uh, pumpkin pie. So we're gonna give them a little try here. The whipped cream tastes like it has flavor in it. My apple pie has a layer of like caramel on top of it, which is a little strange. Never had apple pie like that, but it's good. Maybe the caramel on top is what makes it Dutch. It probably is. No. It probably is. If you guys know what makes a Dutch apple pie a Dutch apple pie, let me know because I have no idea. It's good though. Let's see what Jen thinks about hers. So I got the pumpkin pie. Um, it is good. The pumpkin pie part is heavy on the pumpkin spice. The whipped cream to it is good. It's got a good texture. It's really good. I recommend it. Alright, so we just left Aunt Granny's. We gave you guys a full review. She stepped out the call. Sorry. It's alright. Um, so, um, a fantastic restaurant. And really, $24.99 for all the food you get per person is really not bad. Because again, it's all you can eat. I feel like if we were to go to Cracker Barrel and order what we ordered here, it's roughly going to be the same price. Yeah, uh, the $24.99 includes your drink and everything. So it's really not bad at all. Um, you get the biscuit. And some of it's a three-course sale. You get the biscuits, which is an appetizer. You get multiple choices of meat, multiple choices of size. And there's different choices for dessert, and everybody can get their own individual dessert. You don't have to get a family style dessert. Right. Yeah. And uh, if you do come here, wear your stretchy pants. Yeah. Wear stretchy pants. Because you can uh, you get full quick. walk away from here waddling, maybe not walking. It's, uh, But it is a great place to eat. And I had said while we were sitting there eating that uh, to me, this may be the only restaurant that they have here on property at Dollywood that compares to anything at Disney World. Uh, it's actually very reminiscent to like 50s Primetime Cafe yeah. at Hollywood Studios. Because um, I always get the fried chicken there, she gets the pot roast there, and uh, it's a great place to eat. This is a really, really good place to eat here yeah. at Dollywood. So uh, if you're here, if you're coming up here, and you want to eat at this restaurant, it is uh, definitely the best restaurant that we've had here. Yeah, and we I did see somewhere on their menu where they have like gluten-free options and stuff as well. I don't know what those options are. You probably just have to ask. 
because um, they change the seasonal selections and stuff like that for the holidays and seasons. So, um, but they do have some gluten-free substitutions if you need them. Yep. So yeah, there you go. There is our full review of uh, Aunt Granny's Restaurant. And uh, they do, if you have a, a diamond or a gold pass, uh, you also get a discount. So we ended up getting out of here for like less than 45 bucks uh, yeah, total. Yeah, like $44 and change yeah. for two adults. So. Not bad at all. So there you go. I would give it a... Uh, nine. A nine. Yeah. I think same. nine is fair. Yeah. There you go. Johnny Music score of nine. And they are running the lightning rod in, in the pouring, pouring rain. rain. <laughs> we are up in uh, Craftsman Valley and we are going in to go into the Squish Mallo store. Had to say it like that because my wife makes fun of me because I call them Squishimals. But it's Squish Mallows. Trains going by. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're going to go into the Squish Mallo store and show you guys around. Okay, so we are now in the Squish Mallow store. They have a ton of uh, Christmas Squish Mallows. A lot of Christmas ones. They have several different sizes in them, of them in here as well. They've got like uh, 14 inch, 12 inch, here's some 7 inch. They have all kinds of different ones. They even have an 8 inch. I really like the Christmas ones. I want one of these for me. Look at this guy. Oh, Jess, I would love this one. Little angel. Little angel. Oh, this one. So we're actually shopping for my nieces. It's a little penguin. My, uh, I have uh, a couple nieces that collect these, and so we're going to buy them a couple for Christmas. We're just trying to figure out which ones we're going to get. Super fancy. We ended up grabbing a couple of the squish mallows for my nieces. Um... Yeah, we can't really show them to you, but uh, yeah, for multiple reasons. But um, we ended up grabbing some. Uh, the lady inside here, she's super helpful, and she said that um, that, uh, that normally the store changes out during uh, the fall festival and Halloween, uh, and then in uh, Christmas as well. But uh, they didn't change them because these squishmallows were so popular. Uh, they said that the kids decided that they were going to keep uh, the squishmallows here inside uh, this store. So if you're coming this way, uh, this is the best place to grab them. They, they definitely have a bunch of them here. We're gonna walk into the Robert F. Thomas Chapel real quick, kind of show you around in here. They've got some uh, Christmas decor up here that we have not showed you guys. So we're gonna go in and uh, check that out. Even though it's raining, we're still going to get a ride in today, but we're going to do the Blazing Fury. It's the really one of the only two indoor rides here at Dollywood. The other indoor ride is the bumper cars, in case you didn't know. Blazing Fury. Little Christmas overlay here on the Blazing Fury. Here. 
another Christmas tree over there. We are now up in Wildwood Grove. We're gonna go check out the progress of Big Bear Mountain. Haven't checked it out in a couple weeks, so we wanted to go see uh, if we got any more still up in the air, some more tracks. Maybe they've started uh, building the uh, Q Fort. Not really sure where they're at with it, so we're gonna go check it out and uh, let you guys know. So this platform that you see right here is uh, new. Built it within the last couple weeks. I think maybe this is going to be the part of the track where possibly the, uh, there's, I know there's one part that the uh, track rolls back under. And maybe this is it. So we're gonna stick the, the uh, camera into the fence here and uh, there's some rock work. They are uh, doing some rock work right there. Shaping things up for Big Bear Mountain. You can see the uh, hole in the fence here that I was looking through. Let's go right over here and see if we can see another one. Yeah. All right. So we've made our way over behind uh, Black Bear Trail now. This is the uh, newest section of the track that you can see here. It looks like it uh, it stops right here. This is as far out as they've got it built. But you can see here where the track ends. I do believe that the section that's up top, that section up there, that is the section that will be going out and then you'll be coming back on this section here, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that is correct. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's a lot taller, uh, higher up in the air than I had suspected. So that's, that's cool. We are now in between the shop and the uh, little frog ride they've got over here. And uh, you can kind of see the track right there, how much of it they have installed. It looks like this right here is possibly going to be a launch point. It's very flat. So maybe this is going to be a uh, come back in. I think because, again, I think the closest side to us is the side as you're coming back into the queue. Uh, so I think that you'll probably come back in and maybe that's going to launch you uh, to finish up the ride. So, yeah, that's, uh, it looks awesome. It looks so cool. Cannot wait to ride this thing. And they've got, I mean, a lot of it installed. I mean, way, I mean, they're really moving on this thing, really getting it going. Um, and we're only, I guess, three months away from uh, from it opening. So yeah, we're, uh, we're getting close. A lot of this track is installed. Like I said, I think they're, I would say they're probably, and this is just a complete guess, but I'm gonna say 70 to 80% uh, of the track has been installed at this point. There's quite a bit of it up in the air. Yeah, we're obviously, we're over uh, next to the Dragonflyer now. This is, this part of the uh, track has been the part they've installed uh, the longest ago. It's been up in the air the longest. So might start, uh, they'll probably start running uh, test trains in maybe February. They might be ready to go first of February or so. Hopefully we'll hear something about that. It's a little rainy today and uh, so uh, we're a little wet. But I wanted to show you guys, we're getting ready to go through the Emporium and uh, we had put out that video about saving some money here at Dollywood. Well, they have a lot of stuff on sale now. So we're gonna show you some of that. So they've got some Dollywood hats that are on sale for $11.88. You can see they're 50% off. They've got some kids shirts here. $3.88. $3.88 for a Dollywood kids shirt. They've got several different ones. This one's more expensive though, it's six eighty eight. Yep. And it looks like they have uh, some adult shirts right over here. 
These are on sale as well. Let's see how much they they are marked down to nine eighty eight for some adult t shirts. They've got them in blue and orange and navy blue, white, some black ones. These look like they're uh, like hoodies. Like a long sleeve t-shirt hoodie type deal. It's on sale for $14.88, which is a good price for that. That isn't a big boy size, I might buy it for myself. Uh, yeah, there's another shirt. How much is it? $9.88. $9.88. Again, look for the sell stuff. Let's go see if we can find any more. I think this mug is an honorable mention for something you might want to pick up as a souvenir because Christmas gnomes are super popular this year. It's $14.99, but it would make a good gift for somebody. It does say Dollywood on it right there on the side. But it's not, you know, it's not too much, but it's no. super cute. I don't believe we have ever showed you guys these before, but they have uh, several different Dollywood snow globes. There's some black bears and the Dollywood butterflies. And this one here, this is probably my favorite one. So it's got the church, the grist mill, and it has a roller coaster in the back. And that roller coaster would be the Wild Eagle. Let's see, I'll pick one up and tell you how much they are. $29.99. And they also have some mini versions of those as well. Mini version is $19.99. And then right down here, they have some trains. Dollywood Express. If you're a collector of coffee mugs like I am, the uh, Dollywood Emporium is definitely the best place to buy your coffee mugs. They've got hundreds of them in here. They've got walls and walls just mugs plus there's a lot more that I can't even see from where I'm standing I don't think I've ever seen that one before I like it they basically have a coffee mug on every shelf There is a Jolene coffee mug. It says you can have him, but I don't want him. Here is a raised on Dolly coffee mug. I have never seen this one. And I really, really like this one. This one is $14.99. To be honest with you, that might be my favorite mug I've seen here so far. It's a great picture of Dolly. Just kind of a classic look. It's right on the inside. That's a fantastic coffee mug. All right, guys, that is going to do it from Dollywood today. It's a cold, rainy day, so we're gonna cut and get out of here, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And remember, life's hard enough, keep it amusing. We'll see you guys next time.